Good morning, good afternoon and good evening to all denarians on the go and in the know. Today is December 21st, 2019. Please like subscribe and share to help support our channel. Don't be left behind. The 12 days of Christmas sale is almost over. Use the promo code FEDENARIAN and receive an additional $10 off the already discounted sale price. Invest in yourself and your family's well-being this Christmas. Also, be sure to follow me on both Facebook and Twitter as I am posting important information you need to know on those platforms throughout the day. The links are in the description box below. I encourage you, stay informed and stay alert, knowledge is power. And know that today we are one day closer than yesterday. First article of interest for today. Specialist, emeritization of employee salaries reduces money wasting operations. A number of specialists in economic affairs stressed the importance of the Ministry of Interior's initiation of localization of the salaries of its employees, by adopting advanced electronic payment mechanisms that limit all cases of fraud that accompany the salaries of employees of the Ministry, and also contribute to high fluidity in the money tracks without complication or confusion. The culture of electronic payment is also expanding within the community. In turn, the financial affairs specialist Ghazi al Ghanani said that the shift towards electronic transactions is very important, and that the entry of security joints into the electronic service department ends the confusion that accompanies the distribution of salaries in their monetary form, where we find local companies that managed to advance electronic payment within the country 10 years ago, and today there are governmental and private banks that are competing to win the confidence of the public and that resettlement in the Rafidain Bank gives the beneficiary privacy that is not available in other banks, as he will own a smart card that works with a unique technology and is not available in the countries of the world, where Iraq is unique, as it operates with the fingerprint and secret code system, pointing out that the beneficiary can use this card inside and outside the country. The second particularity is the possibility of providing advances to all beneficiaries ranging between 5 to 25 million dinars without complication, and from places close to the beneficiary, where service centers are distributed in all regions of the country, where more than 1,000 merchants are distributed to provide various services, including financial advances. Provide safety, he stressed the importance of adopting biometric technology, the fingerprint that is not repeated from one person to another and that it is preferred to adopt, as it provides safety in the march of funds and is not granted to the real beneficiary person, and this is available in the Rafa Dane Bank, and through the fingerprint, cases of abuse of public money have been discovered by preparing too big, especially the social protection network. Alkanani added that, the trend towards electronic payment must be accompanied by a set of advanced financial services approved in the countries of the developed world, and here it is necessary to choose the best in services, in order to enhance the spirit of competition among all banks that entered the salary settlement process, and that competition creates products finance that benefits the beneficiary and the national economy. Concerning the economic affairs, Haider Qasim al-Baghdadi stressed that, salary settlement is accompanied by a set of facilities that must be provided by the banks concerned with this process, and here the beneficiary will have several options that stand at the most appropriate of them, but more importantly, the salaries of the ministry will reach those who are entitled to them without any confusion. Or RIG. Sophisticated Dealings. Raga Adnabi Al Alusi, Concerned with Economic Affairs stressed the need for Iraq to have the best advanced electronic payment systems that provide the service to the citizen wherever he goes, stressing that we must actually move from cash transactions to electronic, pointing out that the Ministry of Interior is directed toward the settlement of salaries an important step that creates a culture of electronic dealing for a wide segment of society and transfers the reality of financial transactions to advanced stages that rise to globalization. All Associate, Interior Minister Dr. Yasin Tayyar al Yasiri recently approved the settlement of the salaries of employees of the ministry. A statement quoted by the minister is saying that, the employees of the Ministry of the Interior have made great sacrifices over the past years in order for the Iraqi people to enjoy security and peace, 
pointing out that a number of banks have been contracted out by the central bank to settle the salaries of all workers in this ministry. Pointing out that the work will start after issuing the electronic cards and granting them to our affiliates. The Rafa Dane Bank announced that the employees of the endemic Ministry of the Interior would include their salaries with advances and loans, and only those who hold a MasterCard from the bank. A statement issued by the bank said, Al Saba received a copy of it that employees of the Ministry of Interior, when choosing the Rafa Dane Bank to localize their salaries and obtain an electronic card, are covered by the loans and advances granted by the bank. Next article of interest. A deputy talks about a political approach to the approval of the oil in federal courts. The deputy for the state of law, Ali Anasif, announced, on Saturday, close to important legal legislation during the upcoming sessions, stressing that there is a political vision towards resolving the dispute over the law of the federal court, oil and gas. Nassif said in a statement to the information that the laws of the federal court and oil and gas are significantly behind in the corridors of the House of Representatives due to political differences. She added that the political vision has been completed to complete the federal court law in preparing for the oil and gas law, noting that it is hoped that the federal court will offer to vote during the upcoming sessions. The Parliamentary Services Committee had previously ruled out the success of the House of Representatives in passing the oil and gas law, which had been suspended since previous sessions, attributing the matter to the presence of a number of intersections and political differences. Next article of interest. Parties accuse the President of the Republic of treason, and thousands of demonstrators call for the displacement of Barham and Halbousi. Halbousi Barham, I will meet you the secret. Mass demonstrations started in Tahrir Square, on Friday, calling for the presidents and the parliament to step down. The demonstrators raised slogans against Baram Sali and Muhammad al Halbousi, while the obelisk monitored the slogan saying, Hash HALBOUSI underscore BARHAM underscore AJJAK underscore AL. To coincide with this, 150 deputies in the Iraqi Council of Representatives demanded from the Supreme Federal Court to dismiss and dismiss the President of the Republic, Baram Saleh, from his position as President of the Republic on charges of violating the Constitution and not assigning the largest number of parliamentary bloc candidates during the period of 15 days. The deputies directed the 150 official letters to the President of the Federal Court in which they demanded to file a lawsuit against the President of the Republic, Baram Sali, for violating the Constitution in Article 67. The deputies added that Sali violated the Constitution because he did not commit to assigning the candidate of the most numerous bloc within a period that does not exceed 15 days, and his creation of the idea of excluding holidays from the constitutional period stressing the need to remove him and relieve him of his position as President of the Republic, hoping for the federal court complete the legal procedures to convict Saleh and allow the parliament to complete the rest of the procedures. In agreement with the political blocs, the president postponed the nomination of the prime minister to next Sunday, after it was supposed to name a candidate to head the government last Thursday. To that, Bloggers in the instant messaging criticized Baram Saleh's meeting with American officials, considering that he had received dictates from Washington to pass the candidate that the American administration wanted. On Friday, December 20, 2019, the deputy of the Sadkun parliamentary bloc, Uday Awad, revealed that he had collected signatures to remove President Baram Saleh from his post, on charges of treason, perjury and violating the Constitution. Awad said in a press statement, read by the obelisk, that the President of the Republic has perjured the oath and did not respect constitutional times, noting that the President's primary duty is to protect the Constitution and its prestige. The President of the Republic is accused of defrauding constitutional timing, and he has not named a Prime Minister despite the end of the constitutional deadline. President Saleh extended the constitutional deadline for two days claiming that it is counted from the date of the letter of assignment reaching him, not from the date of its issuance by Parliament, 
and it was agreed between him and the political forces that the constitutional deadline relates to official working days only, and does not count with the weekend, Friday and Saturday, and as a result, determine the end of the period next Sunday. Next article of interest. Parliamentary Finance Announces the High Cash Reserves of Iraq to $87 Billion The Parliamentary Finance Committee announced that Iraq has a cash reserve estimated at $87 billion, indicating that it is sufficient to cover Iraq's operational needs for about a year and a half. Member of the Finance Committee, Ahmed Hama said, according to the international frameworks, the country that has a cash reserve covering its operating expenses for six months is considered to have a relatively stable economy. He added that Iraq needs $5 billion a month to cover its operating expenses from the salaries of state employees and the conduct of daily life, noting that Iraq, according to global accounts, needs $30 billion in operating expenses for six months. He explained that the total Iraqi cash reserves of currencies Golden Financial Securities is estimated at about $87 billion, noting that it covers Iraq's operating expenses for a year and a half. Next article of interest. Baram Sali is running for the presidency of the Patriotic Union of Kurdistan. The deputy of the Kurdistan Islamic Group, Salim Hamza, revealed, on Saturday, the candidacy of the President of the Republic, Baram Sali himself to the presidency of the Patriotic Union of Kurdistan during his current conference in Sulaymaniyya, while he indicated that Saleh was late in choosing the next prime minister with arguments not based on the law. Hams said in a statement to the information that the president of the republic, the second deputy to the secretary of the Patriotic Union of Kurdistan, Baram Sali, is currently busy competing for the presidency of the union during the current conference. He added, the presidency of the union is a crucial issue for Saleh, no less important than the presidency of the republic, as well as other crucial issues. Hamza explained, Baram Saleh has procrastinated the constitutional period for choosing the next prime minister under various pretexts, and he is awaiting the federal court's decision to name the next prime minister. Next article of interest, Iraq, UNESCO decision on the 40th visit is an unprecedented act. Iraq praised, on Saturday, the decision of UNESCO to include the 40th visit on the list of intangible heritage, stressing that it represents a recognition of Iraq and a tribute to Iraqis for their role in preserving folklore and heritage. The permanent representative of Iraq to UNESCO, Ambassador Mahmoud al Mula Khalif said in a statement reported by the official newspaper, Al Saba, that the UNESCO decision represents a recognition of Iraq and a tribute to the Iraqis for their role in preserving folklore and heritage, especially the ritual of hospitality during the 40th visit, because it is a rare and distinguished cultural act. Ambassador al Mula Khalif indicated that recording such a cultural act at UNESCO takes place for the first time. The Intergovernmental Committee for the Safeguarding of the Intangible Cultural Heritage had previously decided to include the hospitality service in the 40th visit on the list of UNESCO World Heritage among 15 global cultural practices. It is noteworthy that Iraq has managed over the past years to register several civilizational sites on the World Heritage List of the United Nations Culture, Education and Science Organization, UNESCO where the Herbal Castle and the Gbaish Marshes were included in the south as well as Ur, Aridu and Warka civilizations, while the Babylonian civilization was recently included historical. Next article of interest. State of law, successful ministers may return during the new cabinet. Between the MP from the State of Law Coalition, Bauha al-Nuri, Friday, that successful ministers may return in the new cabinet, pointing out that Parliament will not reject a successful minister and on the contrary, he has indicators and files on some of the ministers and they cannot return in the new government. Al-Nuri said in a statement to information that every prime minister has a government program that he submits to the Parliament in order to vote on it, and after that this program is applied as it happened with Adel Abdul Mahdi when forming his government. He 
added that, the new Prime Minister has his estimates and vision regarding keeping some of the ministers of the Abdul Mahdi government who find it appropriate and succeeded in performing his work in his ministry. He explained that, some of the ministers succeeded in fulfilling their duties as the Minister of Labor and Municipalities, and therefore the next Prime Minister, if he finds that they have succeeded in their ministries, may return them in addition to other personalities who may find that they succeeded within their ministries. And that the House of Representatives will definitely vote for some successful ministers in their ministries, but there are objections and indications to other ministers, and it is not possible for them to be returned to the cabinet again. Next article of interest. America. Our forces are able to confront ISIS and Iran in the region. U.S. Defense Secretary Mark Esper said on Friday that U.S. forces in the Middle East region still have the ability to counter the Iranian threat and the ISIS's threat. The United States withdrew its forces from areas in northern Syria, prior to a military operation launched by Ankara against the Kurds, which raised fears of the return of the ISIS's threat. Esper stressed in a press conference on Friday that his country's forces in the region are capable of facing the threat of ISIS, refusing to criticize Turkey and stressing the strategic relationship with Ankara. The U.S. Secretary of Defense stressed that Ankara will not obtain F-35 fighters after obtaining the Russian S-400 air defense system. On the other hand, Esper said that Washington will reveal the details of the creation of U.S. Space Command next week. Like and subscribe to be alerted as more articles of interest unfold. Be sure to find me on Facebook and Twitter, so you don't miss a beat. Take advantage of the 12 days of Christmas sale before it's over. Use the promo code THEDENARIAN for the additional discount on the already discounted price. Time is running out. Lock in your discount today. The link is in the description below. Stay informed and stay alert. Knowledge is power. And know that today we are one day closer than yesterday. Over and out for now, the Denarian.